quickly to run the LionMaker CD in Linux. It's quite simple. Um, um, here it's labelled Lion DVD. Double click on that and the folder will, menu will come up. Uh, and the list of all the files. Now the auto run doesn't work um, properly in Linux. Um, it can work in Wine if you're running in emulation mode, but I leave it alone normally. And if you just go to Line Making CD, you just scroll down the files. Now you're looking for the start here file. Uh, it's normally in alphabetical, but you can change it if it's not. So you just scroll down until you find the start here file. And view you can change it to alphabetical by name and just go to start here right click open in Google Chrome and that's all you need to do to start it now um, you click the start here to start and that takes you through uh, past the health and safety notices right to the main page and then you have all the different um, pages of this nice. um, the standard the anglo-saxon lies and the trossingen and the cologne lie are listed on here um, now, but for the rest of the plans, you just need to go to the extras file. If you go back to the file section and you go to the live DVD, go to the extras, you'll find all the extra files listed here. Um, if you want to print off the plans, um, one of these extra plans, you, uh, you double click on them, double click on the folder, simply double click on the folder, click on the one you're interested in, double click again, it automatically opens up in the default PDF viewer. Uh, this is perfectly fine to um, to use. Uh, but when you're printing off, make sure that you set the printing to um, the page scaling must be set to none. Um, and basically, you want to print to full size A4 or, or letter size or whatever printer you're using. Uh, but certainly, you don't want to change the scaling. Uh, there's plenty of overlap, and you basically collate them together when you've done. Um, now the video, uh, if there's a video showing you how to make them, um, on the Windows version you get to see that, uh, choose that straight away, but because it's not on this, well, if you go back to the file section again, go back to the live DVD, it's um, the quickest way to find it I think is actually rearrange the files to, uh, by size, it's the biggest size, and it would be the one on the very bottom. Here we go. These are, these are all the videos that you get. There's some extra ones here actually that are not necessarily listed on there. there there's a quite a few Easter eggs actually. Things are hidden uh, on this disk. Okay, um, so you just right click and if, open it in VLC player I think is probably my first preference. Okay, now the viewing side of things uh, doesn't always fit. Uh, the, the aspect ratio needs to be 69, uh, and that will then fill the page when you play it. Uh, the other thing, so you've got the extras folder with the extras in, the Lion Maker CD which has the start file to run it. There's also this thing called videos offline which is basically I've looked through my liar videos from my YouTube channel and I've downloaded them in MP4 format. So now these will play perfectly fine in VLC player. So there's some Bode Liar, some of the Trossington Liar, some on the Kravik, uh, also the, the seven parts of making an Anglo-Saxon Liar. Couple of Sutton Who ones and some on the wire strung, but uh, again, you would just right click on these videos in, in Linux Mint and open in VLC player, and they'll play just fine. 
Now these are just the same videos on YouTube, so it's just an offline resource really. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or drop me an email and I'll be glad to help you.